Welcome back viewers. We really appreciate you being here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything exciting. Okay, this video we're going to go over the differences between the TH350 lockup and the non-lockup pumps. Now on the front pump housing, where you have the gears, it's easily identifiable by the depth or the thickness of the gears, which all of your pre-1980 pumps were non-locked up. All that 1980 and later are locked up. All those pre-1980 non-locked up pumps are going to have thicknesses that measure between 0.721 up to around 0 730, but never above 0.8. The 0.841 up to 0.845 are all lock up and they're all 1980 and later. And if it's 0.850, it's because somebody's machined it and it's oversized, that's the oversized set of gears. On the stators, the pump stators, the non lock up has a difference in worm tracks here and other places, but you, this is one of the easiest ways to see it is you have the row of feed holes, and then right here you have this leg that bends in. Whereas on the lockup stators, this same worm track comes over and does not go all the way to where the feed holes are. And you have a cup, another feed hole here, separate feed hole right here. The easiest way to tell though is right here. A little over four inches on the non lockup, around three and a half on the lockup. If you look at this 350, which is clearly lock up because it has the wire connector here, which is a little dark, so it's hard to see. But if you look around here, right, see the tip for lock up, go into the converter, and right here, you have the shorter stator. Here we have a non lock up. You see, it has no wire connector. And the front here has the longer stator. And you can see that the input shaft does not have a nipple on it for the lockup clutch. Don't get these confused with TH250 pumps, which do not have the space for the piston right here. And there is at least one oddball pump in 1969, and I think at least two other oddball one-off pumps for special edition vehicles throughout the early years. There are different numbers of rings. Whether it be lockup or non lockup, there are a different number of rings here. There are also bearing style and thrust washer style, whether it has a bearing here or a thrust washer here. If you'd like to see more transmission identification videos, please comment below with your questions and I'll try to make a video. Or I may just answer in the comments. Thank you for watching our videos. I hope the information contained helps you out a great deal and saves you lots of money. But please keep in mind that over after 30 years of working on cars, I still get burnt, bruised, or bleeding on almost every job. Also, I still mess things up even after passing over 50 certification tests. So if you want to avoid all that, please find somebody that gives a good warranty and just pay them to work on your car. In other words, don't do anything I do in my videos and don't even do anything I talk about in my videos.